to send everybody to the uh, waiting area, and I'm starting the live, so I want everybody to jump onto the live here, and I'm going to send everybody out. I'm going to start with Emma and Andrew so that I don't kill Andrew's video like I've killed it so many times, um, and we'll start with the two of you guys, and then I'll just start bringing people in two at a time slash one at a time for Elijah. Sorry, Elijah. Uh, maybe I'll find a picture of Sam on my phone and just hold it up and pretend like he's here. All right. That would actually be hilarious. I'll see if I can find one. Okay, cool. So I'm going to send everybody over to the live. We are now live, and we'll be working on our character analysis together. Super psyched. My ring light. Emma, why do you have two? Oh, one's not you. That's right. <laughs> It's like, why are there two Emma's phones? <laughs> I'm really confused. It's Kate. It's Kate. That's why. I got on a Mason pillow. That's why. So make sure to jump to that live video. I get it. You didn't get it? No, I didn't get it. Okay, Kate. So really simple. Two ways to go about this. One, you can call Shay and she'll send it to you. Two, jump onto the Deering Studio YouTube. It will be the top video that's playing live right now. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Which one's the real Emma? Um, Emma's iPhone. iPhone. Okay, great. Elijah, you're looking you're looking fly today, by the way. Before I send you out, I just gotta say that. All right, cool. V necks are good for you. <laughs> Wait, did did you No, ah I hate when I do that. I feel like such a jerk. Hold on, I gotta bring him back. <laughs> I got to bring him back because I feel like the biggest human being jerk of all time. Sorry, Elijah. Sorry. What were you saying? Uh, I said I felt very... Thank right you. back at you. Right back at you. All right. Now I'll send you out without being a jerk. Bye. Bye. Okay. dokie. So we said we went through the sheet, right? Okay, let's talk yeah. through it together. So, question number one. Where does the scene take place? What do we decide? Um, well, when we're online, he's at the gym and I'm at my house. Yeah. He's at the gym, you're at the house, okay? Um, I'm going to ask a couple of just off questions that may come up later. So, what's the situation again specifically that you guys have created? Um, so, he went away to college and cheated on me with a college girl yeah I'm what, a jerk. Jerk. what a jerk um okay <laughs> cool so that's a uh that's a cool situation that you guys picked i think it's gonna be really great so now going into the where right you're at the gym you said right andrew yeah so you're at home i want you to get specific here where at home emma are you um just like in my room in your room okay so leading up to this call, and this isn't the question sheet, but you guys have done the work, so we'll talk it through. Um, leading up to this call, what do you think she's experiencing? What do you think is going on through her mind before she goes to make this call? Um, probably, like, a lot of confusion and sadness and, like, anger, obviously. Um, yeah. Okay, so when yeah. did you find out? Um, I think, like, two days before two days before so what yeah. what is taking you two days to give him a call uh, well my character seems like she like goes between she doesn't like decide things very easily okay. um so i feel like and i feel like she's also tight to like text all her friends and like figure out what to do from there so i feel like she's been just like talking to people and trying to figure out like how to go about doing it so basically she she wanted to make sure she handled it right yeah so what was her, uh, how did she find out specifically? Um, one of his friends told me. One of his friends, okay. Um, what friend? Mm. My uh, best friend. Of... Best friend? Okay, I like that, Andrew. Jake. So what, Jake, okay, his name's Jake. He has spiky hair, yeah. Spiky hair, Jake. How long have you known Jake, Andrew? Uh, preschool. Preschool, so that's gonna burn. Yeah. Right? That's gonna burn, mm -hmm. okay. Um, so now it's Jake. We've known him his whole life. Jake goes to tell you, Emma. Uh, why do we think Jake would do that besides being an upstanding human being? <laughs> um, maybe 
he liked me. Okay, cool. So he liked you. He's How does bro. he's your bro, bro? What the heck? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so how did how did that go about? Like how how do you guys know each other so well? Um, I feel like we've just met through him because like he's my boyfriend's best friend, so obviously I'm gonna know him. But I feel like we're not like super close. Okay. So now going into that, um, how long have you and Andrew's character been dating? What did we say? We talked about this. I don't remember. Like start of high school, I think. Yeah. Start of high school. A while. Couple yeah, of years. Okay. Yeah. 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 So if you're in college, Andrew, because we're deciding these are all the things. If everyone's watching, you should think through these right now. If you haven't answered some of these, be writing them down right now. So if you're in college now, you're a freshman, right? Is that what yeah. you decided? So you're a freshman in college. Emma's character is not in college, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if Emma's character is not in college and you are, what um, what year are you, Emma? Are you a senior, junior? Yeah, I'm a senior. Okay, so she's a senior, just one year behind you, okay? You've gone off to college. You meet another girl, <laughs> okay? You guys were dating then for four years up yeah. to this yeah. point. So if you met freshman year, you've been dating four years. So one of the things you'll want to create and work is the history between these characters. I just did this with my scene partner. Like... What, how did you ask her out, Andrew? Like, how did you ask her out? I wrote her a song. You did? Gave her flowers. Oh, amazing. Yeah. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Ready? <laughs> I'm going to be doing this with everybody just throughout, okay? Uh, I see you have a guitar there in the background. Is that real? I, Does that work? Yeah, it is real. Yeah. Okay, go grab it for me. Okay, I don't know how it's going to sound through Zoom, though. It's, it's going to sound terrible, but don't worry about that, okay? So it's all about how you get into it. So there was this song for Valleywood a while back, and I just grabbed a guitar, and I couldn't play guitar, by the way, and I just strummed down all four screams, and I was like, Valleywood, Valleywood movie camp, and like, it was so awful, but I was way into it, like, I was having fun, and just like, it was a blast, right? So if you yeah. actually just believe it's a love song, you can just make it up, and just like, really have fun with it here, and Emma, you should be all about it, Okay. So this is the first encounter of your first date. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> yeah. So pause. I want to start right from right from when you tell her you've made her a song and all that. Like, so she's sitting down. Let's say uh, you guys are at school and there's no one around. It's afterwards. She she likes to hang out by this one tree. Like she always goes there to read and do her thing. So you're gonna come up and approach yeah. her and tell her, okay? All right, so leave, okay. leave the frame and come in. Leave the frame and come in. Okay. Emma, be reading your book. <clears throat> hey, I uh, got a surprise for you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> so I spent all last night writing a love song for you. That's so cute. Yeah. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> you ready? <sighs> the day I first met you, you took my breath away. The day I first met you, I wanted you to stay. So will you take my hand, together we can dance, into the night, and we'll fly, fly, fly away, so take my hand, like you took my breath away, take my hand, and together we will stay. That was so good. You wrote that for me? I did. Thank you. Thank you. I I, I didn't know, you know, how to say it unless it was kind of through song, so, you know. Well, I like you too. (laughs) 
<laughs> what? Oh, amazing. This is the greatest thing of all time. I'm so glad I played music. Dude, Andrew, you are really good. You're like yeah. really good, bro. How that long was, have you been that playing? That was off the spot. That was what? Uh, that was so good. That was just off the spot. Um, I've been playing for like only a couple months, so. Dude, I, I would <laughs> not believe that. A few like, months? If you said that, I'd be like, liar. <laughs> just liar would be everything that I say. Um, no, dude, really, really good. So this is just a total uh, acknowledgement you. of commitment, right? So you said, I'm going for it. I'm going to make it happen. And <laughs> you affected Emma's character. You affected Emma, which affected the character. <laughs> Emma was blown away, right? <laughs> so you actually blew her away in this scene the way that the character would be surprised. Well, that's a really hard thing to pull off. So when you do something bold like this in any scene, by the way, it's going to add so much. No. Well, now that when you guys go into the scene, when you guys continue the scene, what happens is when she finds out the news, she's going to remember this moment and it's going to break her heart. Yeah. When you think you might lose her for real because of your dumb decision, you will remember this moment and there's going to be a bunch more. Yeah. It's like when, when you leave somebody or a relationship ends, all these things just come to your mind, all these memories, and, and they're there, right? So like with, with me, when, yeah. when I when the last relationship I was in, there was a very, very long one. Like it took a while to get past it, right? And there were all kinds of things that, that just reminded me. You'd look at a tree and you're like, friggin' tree, stupid tree, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like that would be where, you, where, you're, where Emma's at. I mean, she's got to go to school the next day and look at that stupid tree. Which is where if it was two days, yeah. Emma, and it's school year, let's say, like you would literally have to walk by that tree and it would drive you, it would break your heart, right? So things like this, if you can improvise and discuss, that adds so much more. And then when you go to speak the lines, there'll be so much more power behind it, right? So my last question, yeah. jumping into it, I'm going to go over to, uh, to you, Andrew, is what, um, what drove you to do this, do you think? Oh, I was young and in love, I guess. To, at, in college? Or are you talking about the... Sorry, the, yeah. The, the... Okay, no. Um, I don't know. I think I was just kind of tired of... It was just kind of getting old for me. Kind of wanted something new. Okay, let's go into that Didn't further. Along. So, like, why? Like, what What was it... What was old about it? Do you still love her? Was it, a, was it just a mistake? Like, because that's going to make a huge difference. Yeah, I feel like it was a mistake. I feel like, I don't know, when you like are thrown like thrown into like a whole new environment, like in college, you kind of just want to do whatever, and you end up making bad choices. Hundred percent. It was kind of like that. Hundred percent. So I love that choice, and here's why: if you don't care, that's fine. Like you'll just dive into what kind of character that guy is. If you do care, I think it's better for the script specifically because yeah. she pushes you a little bit and then you admit it and then you say sorry mm -hmm. and I think he really is sorry and I think he does really want her back I like I really do yeah. I think genuinely he realizes this was a big mistake I made and I want you back based on that script and so if you have that history and it was oops I really messed up now my dumb friend whatever told you and now I gotta figure it out also, that's mm -hmm. going to add to that gut drop when she goes without the lying. Your gut is just going to drop down to the ground and you're going to have to speak the truth, but it's going to it's gonna be more powerful. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you guys can continue some of this work, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to do so much for your scene to know that. And those were just, all we did was two things there. Think about all the other dates you guys should discuss. You should know her and you should know her, Emma. What's her favorite kind of food, Right. Like what, what, what's her love language? Like, does she like flowers? Does she like physical contact, like hugging and like being together close? Like some people don't. And that's not the way, like if you love somebody the wrong way, it doesn't do any good, right? So you want to figure that out together. And if you have all that, it's going to build this, this moment, moment so much more. Okay. Cool. Good work yeah. guys. Uh, if we get a chance Thank to come you. back to the scene itself, we will. That's awesome. Great work. Really proud of you guys. I'll leave you here while I bring in the next group so you can kind of congratulate each other. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, you guys did a lot of good work. Uh, okay. I've been playing guitar for like 
two months and I literally don't even know anything. On piano. <laughs> like I can play like one string. <laughs> yeah, I started like right after Christmas, I think. So Elijah. That's insane. Hey, there he is. Okay. Bye guys. Peace. Bye. See you after everyone's gone. All right. All right. Eli, did you watch that last one? Uh, yeah. Okay, what'd you take out of it? Me when I heard my phone, <laughs> and I, like that, I had to like pause it really quick so you guys didn't hear. No, yeah, that happens with the lag for sure. Um, so what'd you take out of that? Uh. just have the good like hmm it's kind of hard to think about I mean they threw a lot out there right so let me rephrase it a little bit what's one thing you saw that you could take and apply to you and Sam as you go to work the scene moving forward I have the backstory the backstory okay cool so for you guys that will be based upon your friendship right so uh, do me a favor, tilt the camera down a little, because you're like uh, a little ant. Much better. Okay, cool. All right, so let's talk through the question. So where is this taking place? Uh, in a room at, with a gaming console. Okay, so whose room? Your room? Uh, yeah. Okay, now we're applying this question to go even deeper, okay? So you and Sam are friends, right, in the scene? Mm-hmm. So now, your room is a representation of you. I love your name over the door in your room. I think it's so cool. Like, so cool, right? And there are certain things that add your personality to your space. Everyone watching has the same thing. So if you're at home, you know, think through this. You literally have a certain way that you orchestrate your space. Mine is pretty dang plain, <laughs> and I have some things I'd like to add to it, but I'm not a big decorating guy right so literally I have like nothing up on my walls I've got like a couple things and that's pretty much it uh, it's just not me I see him right <laughs> exactly um, there are some people whose rooms are insanely clean like insanely clean right and there are others who aren't right uh, I see you're like nope not me right so you got to think through your character here right so what is your character's name you your character's name do we know yet no. Okay, are you the younger friend or the older friend? Younger. Younger. Okay, so for everybody, I want you, if you haven't gone yet, if you don't have your name, you need to know your first and last name. So I want you to add that to your list right now. Okay? So, um, you're the younger one, right? So now, mm -hmm. how long have you and Sam known each other? Uh, for a couple of years, like maybe four. Four years? Okay. So uh, how did you and Sam meet? Uh, through school. Through school, okay. What kind of character do you think Sam's character is? Uh, more just relaxed and very nonchalant about everything. He just doesn't care. Okay. If there was a character who just, like, was always dating girls, do you think it would be his character? I feel like he'd be the person to not date anyone because he just doesn't care. Okay, cool. Uh, your character now. So based on his, you guys are friends, but friendships, much like anything, not always are two people that are the exact same. I see you guys as very different. So tell me about what you think your character's like personality type. Tell me about that. Uh, very emotional and like I'm just everywhere. Okay. Emotionally. Like... As you can see in one of my lines, I'm angry and then I'm just sad and then I don't care and then I'm mad and all that. Okay, so he's sort of all over the place in that sense. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go further into that, all right? Let's talk, <coughs> excuse me, dealing with that. Um, now that you know that, close your eyes. I want you to imagine and think of a name that fits that type. That type of person. Yeah. 
what do you got? Ethan. Ethan. Okay. So I want you to think this week on adding the last name, but we'll start with Ethan. Okay. I could totally see that. <laughs> so here's the thing. People, when they have a kid, spend a, or get a dog even, right? They spend a lot of time deciding what name that animal or that person is going to be. Why? Because names matter. They matter. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're like, oh, man, you'll look at someone and you're like, man, that person's not really like an Eli. I don't feel that. And sometimes you look at someone and you're like, dude, that guy is totally a Chet or whatever. So now that you've got his name, that already builds an understanding of who he is as a person, which will help you play him outside of you being you. Okay? So now we'll do a little improv together here. Um, so you guys play video games a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what else do you guys do together? Uh, we do what friends do and just chill around and play games and do nothing. Maybe like go places with each other. Cool. All right, we're going to do a scene together. So we're you... kind of like brothers. Okay, you get into his character, okay? You get into your character's state, and your character's name was what? Ethan. Do we know Sam's? Uh, no. Okay, let's just call him... Um, Let's call him Brad for right now. That won't be what we stick with, but just for the exercise, okay? So you're Ethan. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you're Ethan. I'm Brad, okay? So now I want us to connect. Um, there's a girl you like. There's a girl that Ethan likes, and he's going to tell Brad about it. We're just chilling, okay? Cool. And here we go. Mm. Dr. Pepper? I'm oh, sorry. I'm... You want Dr. Pepper? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I got, I got some. So you know, you know Sally. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've been thinking about telling her like something I, I like her, and I don't know how to tell it, tell her that. So can you like kind of help me, dude? I really dude, I have been waiting so long for this moment, man. I've been waiting like a while. You know, like, yeah, so cool. All right, so like, what do you? What's your plan? What's in your mind? So I'm, I'm kind of thinking about like just like after class, we, I just go up to her and tell her, like, just straight whoa, up. whoa, whoa, just like straight up. Yeah. No, no, let's not do let's that, bro. Not that's that. that's a bad call, bad call. Oh. But it's okay. It's okay. You're learning. You know. Um, here's what we're gonna do. All right. Uh, I want you to ignore her. Just completely ignore her. Yeah, completely ignore her. How will that help? Look. All right, girls. Okay, they like want you to be something that's hard to get. Right. So like, if you are like all needy and like, hey, like they're not gonna wanna hang out with you. Right. So like I'm not saying forever, but just like, just like for right now, just be like yeah, just, just for a little bit. Yeah, just for like a short time, just like you and I can just kind of hang, right? And we'll just chill, and then she'll come and hang. And we're not being mean or anything. It's just like, hey, it's good to see you. You know, like like you just be in your own place. You know. Uh, just just ignore her and not really care. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know you care, but but. Act like Just you don't act care. Act like I don't. Right. Because if she knows, then she's not going to want to be with you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fast forward to uh, a month later, that did not work out for you. What's up, bro? Yo, what? That didn't help. That. What do you mean it didn't help? Uh, She doesn't like me, and now she thinks I'm weird. What, dude? And this always works. Uh, not for me. That is because I, I wasn't being me. I knew it wouldn't work, and uh, it never works. Ah, uh, well, dude, I, I'm sorry. Like, honestly, it works really well for me, so I thought it would work for you. Like, we gotta fix this. Well, that's because you're Chad. I'm, I'm Ethan. There's a difference. There's not a difference, bro. You're just <laughs> as cool as me. Okay. But we're different people. Yeah, but you're just as cool as what I'm saying. Like, like. Don't put yourself in a bubble like, hey, Chad's so great and awesome and I'm not. Like, don't do that to yourself, you know? 
I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying. I mean, you kind of put yourself in that bubble, you know? You were clearly, like, excited about who I was, but that you couldn't be that great. <laughs> okay, no. scene. You're like, no. All right, now you're mad at me. Uh, good, good, Eli. So we see this girl is an outside character. Not a part of the scene at all, but your understanding of how he and Chad, you named him Chad, which is great, okay? Uh, Chad had dealt with things that then affects you because when you play the video game who knows maybe him shutting off the xbox actually isn't what pisses you off so think about this and this is why i picked the situation he tells him in the in the scene he says that basically like mind your own business i'm doing my own thing okay you do your own thing your advice was terrible what you're saying is terrible subconsciously he could literally not be talking about the video game and if you and Sam both have an understanding of that, and the video game is just the catalyst that pisses you guys off, that, that just sets you off, that's funny. And it's going to help you get into character. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, so I want you to share this with, with Sam. You guys connect and build it. Build this history together, okay? Dude, good job. Woo. Yeah. All right. Farewell, my friend. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Do 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 do. My bad, Addy. Sending you back out. <laughs> All right. Hello, girls. Hello. Hello. All right, I'm going to have you go now, and then I'm also going to have you go at the end, Serenity, okay? Okay. It's your other partner. All right, so let's talk about it. Yeah. Questions. What did you discover? A lot. But yes, um... We were on FaceTime for like an hour. You were what? On FaceTime for like an hour. I love that. Okay, so share with the class. Let's hear it. Let's go. Okay, so we figured out why I hate her so much. Oh, it's boom. Very... Oh, I'm dying to know. All right. It's very sad. I'm just going <laughs> to... Before you get excited. excited. Before I get excited. Wait for it, wait okay. for it. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Okay. So, the reason I hate her so much is because I don't want a family. Because my dad, I used to have a mom, but she got hit by a car in front of me. Oh. And I don't want a new family after that. So that's why I hate her so much. Her dad married my mom, and I was a high school accident, and I've never met my dad before. Dang, you guys went deep. Okay, cool, I love it. So what's the, um, what's the situation? Um, so we're in the living room on opposite side of the couch, and in between us is our cat who's dressed in a Santa costume. Oh gosh. Cause it's Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas time. Okay, that's important. Very good job on that detail. And I'm babysitting because I was going to go to hang out with some of my friends. And then my our parents were like, I needed to watch your sister tonight because we're going to have date night. And I was like, all right, sick. So. Brutal. No one ever wants to babysit was, on friend night. I was very upset. Okay, so why were you upset, Sam? Because I like staying home alone, but my parents never let me. So what's your beef with Serenity? What's your beef with her? Just because you didn't ever want a sister? Yeah, because I never wanted a sister, and I want my old family back to be back to normal. Got that. That's awesome. What a what a great driving force. Uh, Serenity, what about for you? What's the? Is there animosity there? Is there hate, anger? 
it's not hate or anger. I just genuinely, because I'm, like, a lot older than her, I just want her to, like, like me and open up to me because I know, like, what her situation was. And I was like, I just want to, like, be there for her because, like, I'm a nice person. Mm. I like that. Okay. And we also have our names. You have your names? Yeah. Okay, let me hear them. Yes. You first. <laughs> I'm Katie. I don't know what my last name is yet, but I'm Katie. Okay. And I'm Isabella. Katie and Isabella. Good. Definitely go into those last names a little bit because we'll also want to decide, are we sharing a last name now? Right? Yeah. Or not. That's a decision you'll have to make, in which case, why? how does that make you feel? Does it matter to you? Exactly. Okay. So, I want to do a couple of little improvs with you guys. It sounds like you've done a lot of the work here. Um, tell me about your props really quick. Um, our props are an AirPods box. AirPods box? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's and that, that's it. That's the thing. Okay, great. What about costume? Um, I would normally be wearing sweatpants, but I didn't know which one I was going to be going through first. And I'm wearing a skirt in one of them, and that's the only one that I stand up in. So I'm currently wearing a skirt, but we're just going to imagine that I'm wearing sweatpants. And I have a bright red Santa Monica Pier lifeguard hoodie that my mom bought me when we went on vacation before my mom met her dad. Ah, okay. I love the history behind that. So I will, each week we're performing, make sure you're on opposite ends of class. Um, good, good. Sam, what about for you? I am wearing shorts and a t-shirt because I was supposed to be staying home by myself. Okay, what t-shirt? A purple t-shirt. Purple t-shirt? Like the one you're wearing now? Yes. What's it say? Um, Does it have something on it? It's just a plain purple t-shirt. There's nothing on that? No writing? There's a, well, on my t-shirt, yeah. Do you have just a plain purple one? Um, No. Okay, so we either need to get one, or let's say this is the example. What's on? What's written on yours right now? What's there? A star from my play. Okay, so that specifically, like that one wouldn't work because it's a specific theater, and it kind of connects the theater, unless she's a theater kid, right? And you literally have a history yeah. that you've built in Arizona, both of you, and you literally say that this is a play that I did or whatever. But I recommend yeah. not because you've done that play to go away from that. So literally, this is where it, it will make a difference. I love that Serenity had a history for the sweatshirt that's connected to you and connected to the deep story you have. So I want you to do the same, okay, uh, and build upon that together. You wear glasses, okay? So you want to go, how long have I worn glasses? Has it been my whole life? Um, I want to go, like, what kind of glasses do I get? And if it's these type, why? And you want to know for your character, not for you, Sam. Okay. So literally, if you're like a super flashy character, you might be able to go to his, like CVS or have your parents do that and get like, or online and get like really like leopardy, just cheap ones, right? For example, that would be something. Or if she's like very simple, you might keep the ones you have but have a history behind them. Okay. Uh, good, good. Okay, so now let's do a little improv before we move on. And I want you guys to keep developing these further. So this is the very first time that you guys were introduced to each other, okay? You know that you're now going to be sisters. Your parents just told you about the, um, told you that they were getting married. They've been dating, they just sat you down, and now you guys are in the room still together. They've left the room, okay? So that just happened, you just got dropped that news. I wanna see how both of you handle it. Give me a second. Let me set up. Yep. Okay. Wait. So if they're getting married, that means we're going to be sisters. And we can hang out all the time now. And, like, we don't have to, like, drive to each other's houses to hang out. You know what I mean? Um, no. Like, we're, like, gonna be sisters. Like, I've never had a little sister before. So, like, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. But 
And how does that, how is that a good thing? I, I've just never had like another sibling before. So this is just exciting for me. Oh, that's nice. Okay. To cut it out, I know that you don't want another sibling, but we just have to kind of pretend for our parents because if they're happy, then we have to at least pretend to be happy. I'll try my best, but that's kind of hard for me. That's ridiculous. If you really truly want your dad to be happy, especially after what happened to your mom, then you're just going to suck it up, okay? Fine. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Dude, dude, Sam, she like dropped a bomb on you, dude. So here's the deal. If you actually, and, and, and I love your story, by the way. That's why I stopped you. I love it. Sam, there's a lot of pain there. There's a lot of pain that she's going through. So now because of that, if a statement like that got made, I don't think she would just be like, yeah, okay. Okay. Right? Should I get, like, mad? I don't know. I want you to really listen to what she said and know the history of your mom. She brought up your mom. Okay. Uh -oh. Can we restart that yeah, real quick? Yeah, we're going to go back, and I want you to take it from that line. Okay, Serenity? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Get ready. This this concern. Don't, don't plan it. Okay. Don't plan it, Sammy. Just listen. Listen. You don't know it's coming. I get that you don't like me and that you don't want a new family, but if you truly want your dad to be happy, especially after what happened to your own mother, if you really want him to be happy, then you're just going to have to live with it. How can I live with it? My mother died in a car crash right in front of me. How am I supposed to be happy? How's my dad supposed to be happy? I just want everything to go back to normal. Well, things can't go back to normal, and you're going to have to learn to live with that, too. Because there's no going back in time. You can't go fix what happened. You have to live with what happened, and you have to roll with the punches in life. Believe me, I wasn't too happy growing up knowing that I was the only kid in my class that didn't have a dad. I didn't know why I didn't have a dad. I didn't understand that until I, my mom was old enough to explain to me, oh, yeah, you were in an accident, and your dad left you because he didn't want a kid. Yeah, that sucks for me, too. Your mom died. Neither of us have one parent. Now, we both have two parents, and I'm happy that I have a little sister. You hate me. That's not my problem anymore. That's your problem, and you're going to have to learn to live with it. Fine, but I'm not going to be happy about it. <laughs> then don't be happy about it. Scene. Hey, oh my gosh, that was so good. Okay, how'd that feel? Stressful. Good. Stressful. Yeah, it was like. You guys felt the heat, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, ah, it's steaming. It's steaming. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I'll I'm gonna use it. that now. Ah, it's steaming. There's steam. Um, for real though. So here's the deal. You guys found now the the power behind it. So see, Sam, if somebody brings up your mom, it's just not gonna be a nothing deal. When you started talking about your set, your dad, Sam, uh, or dad, Serenity, we felt it. We felt the pain that comes with that. There's so much pain, so much pain in this world. And so, Serenity, your character has moved through it. She got through the pain. Sammy's character hasn't. And so you're trying to help her, but you're trying to help her as a young person who's still hurting herself. And so watching that was really interesting because there's a lot of people that go through that. I was just hanging out with someone recently and their parents are divorced and it's it was hard. Like they had some stuff going on and Father's Day was tough and, and we talked about it a little bit, but it was a really hard day for them. Like a really hard day. And so you guys are gonna bring to life characters that need to be brought to life. And ideally eventually these characters get reconciled and we have a happy ending of some sort. Right? Um, if this continued and it was a play. So really good work. I want you to keep doing some improvs together in the next two weeks if you can. Uh, and if we're both continuing next month, we'll talk about that at the end. Uh, but really good work. And this is the power of the character development you guys did. Okay? Good job. Woo! Proud of you guys. Yay. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs>
Bye, Serenity. Bye, Sammy. Bye. Bye, Brian. No, just kidding. Nothing? Not even like a semi chuckle? Wow, hurtful. All right. So tell me, uh, hey, I know we didn't get to spend too much time in it. So um, what did we discover in the little bit of time we had? We discovered that I think Lily should answer this question. What did you discover, Addy? Personally, I discovered um, that... Um, I just... We talked through question one, right? But where does the scene take place? So what did you guys land on for uh, for the specific where? For a where? Yeah. I think for a where is kind of the principal's office because we're like breaking in, they like get a tape. That's like embarrassing. And we decided what is on that embarrassing tape. Um, it's her awkwardly falling in front of a large group of people, and they're all laughing at her because she's weird. Yikes! No, no offense, Lily. The character's weird. Lily's awesome. Yeah, the character's weird. All Lily right. is awesome. Lily, I know you did a bunch of work this week on it, so tell me about that. What about it? The discoveries you made. What did you figure out about her that you didn't know before? Not, I, I it wasn't awesome because I feel like I was behind anyway. So I, I really didn't know where I was going okay. with it. So I kind of just went like everywhere. Sure. Okay. Uh, so let's refine it down. What kind of character do you think your character is? I don't know. What did you decide? What do you think? Who's the who's the awesome one? Who's the one who's not awesome, but who's the like cool one? Not me. Not you. So you're the one who doesn't want this to happen. Well, I mean, I'm kind of the one who's like, yo, we should do this. Are you the one who's worried at the beginning? The one who's like, um, uh, who ends up like starting to pace and get worried? Or is that Addy? I think that's me. Yeah. I think, so I think here's the deal. Addy's the one who's worried. You are cool as a cucumber. It's a phrase. <laughs> You're the coolest person. And here's why. You're the one heading this up. She begs you to come with her. Right? So run through a couple lines for me. I'm going to use some script analysis through the script itself. Just give me the words. We'll start from the top. Who's got the first line? Is that Addy? Oh, yeah, I have the first line. Okay, go. I can't believe we're doing this. Will you hush? If someone hears us, we are never going to pull this off. So see, it's, yeah, it's right off the bat. It's like, shut up, dummy. Like, attitude, like, yes, you don't want to get caught. But right off the bat, it's like, she's the one worried. You're the one who's like, we don't want to get caught. Okay, keep going. Uh, why are you even doing this? I like to go on record somewhere so it's completely and entirely your idea. Can I add to that record that you begged me to include you. Okay, good. Are you feeling a sass now? Kind of. I felt it there. I was like, dang, all right, she just got told. Um, so now, here's what we're gonna do. Addie, you found out about her plan. You come to confront her about it and basically tell her that you're doing it with her or you'll tell on her. Okay. Okay, we'll figure that out, how that looks. You can decide. This is an improv here. You're super cool, Lily. And action. Lily, what's your name? I don't have a name. We need names, guys. I, names. Name we got no names. All right. Name. Think about a character that's super cool that everyone would want to be. 
That's your name. Find one. Add it. You are the <laughs> perfect student, but you want to rebel because everyone always says you're perfect. So this is your chance to do that. What's that girl's name? Wait. Um, wait. It's Molly Ringwald's character from The Breakfast Club. What's her name? I can't remember. I can't remember. Lily? Mm hmm. Oh. Molly Ring the red hair. You don't know? Okay. Um, let's go with Molly McIntyre. Okay. Love it. All right. And Lily? Um. Uh, I don't know. Um, Max something. Cool. Okay. So we'll just stand with Max for now. All right. This is the scene. Max, you're just hanging. You're chilling. So just be kind of in your own zone and Addy, you're going to come interrupt her space. Okay. Action. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm not doing anything. Okay, I know why you're here. Why are you doing it? What do you mean? I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm chilling. There's nothing happening. You're thinking I wouldn't find out that you're planning to break into the principal's office. Well, I don't know. It, it's nothing, really. Like, I'm not... I don't know. It's not... It's nothing you need to worry about. Like, it's it's fine. You can't get away with this. It's, your plan sounds dumb. It is not dumb. It's awesome. Really, like, it's all planned out. Like, nobody's going to be there. I'm just going to go in and take it and leave. It's so it's, dumb. You're bound to get caught. Uh, no. It, it, as long as no one hears me, I'm like, cool. Like You're going to get gonna... caught. I'm not going to get caught. Like, yeah. It's going to be great. If I help you, will you change your dumb plan? I mean, I think it's pretty awesome. But, like, if you want to help, like, I'm, I'm cool with that, too. Yeah, I need to help. This isn't going to go well. It's going to go great. Like, it's, it's right there. Like, perfect. Good. So I want to rewind a teeny bit. That was great. So now instead, don't say yes right away, Lily. Cool. Addie's going to have to actually beg you. Okay, let's take it back from her asking. If you change your dumb plan. If you change your dumb plan, I'll help you with this. It's not dumb, though. Like, it's awesome. Like, I'm totally cool. I've got it all under control. I don't need your help. You need me to help you get away with this. You know that, right? I'm great by myself. Like, the less people who go in, we're not going to get caught. Like, Dude, you're not going to get away with this. I need, let me help you. No, I, I got it. Fine, I'll agree to your dumb plan if you let me help you. Mm, again, it's not dumb. It's really, Big, really Addie, big, big, big. I'll babysit your little sister if I, you let me help you. I, I don't know. I I could get someone else to do that, dude. Like I'll it's do not, it for free. I mean, maybe, maybe. Like I don't know. I'll clean your room. Okay, you can. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, My good. My plan's awesome. So we see. Now there's a history behind the begging. For both of you. Yeah. That's the point of this. So if there's something that's said in a scene, like like you begged somebody for something, you as a character need to know what that is. You need to know what that looked like, and you need to experience it, okay? So I want you guys to think through that, and I want you to keep building on it this week, but that's exactly what we want to do. Okay, very good. Chasing, hi. Wait, no one can see you online. Come down a little more. Oh. There you are. Hi, Shay. Hi, guys. Don't you Hi. guys look beauteous today? You look beautiful for a Monday. Beauteous, beautiful. I mean, not like you don't look beautiful every day, but like sometimes Mondays need a little bit more beauty. Mondays you, do need more. You guys just dress.
roughed it. I don't think there are really days of the week anymore. I don't know if they, I barely <laughs> know that it's Monday. Don't know that there's Monday. days of the week. I agree. There, She's I unsure. feel no difference between today and she yesterday. There's no difference between today and yesterday. I would today and a week ago. It kind of is just all over the place, but... Just appreciate your point of view on that, Eddie. She said she appreciates she, she, she appreciates your point of view. Brian's really good at diction. Uh, my throat's hurting. No. Your throat's hurting? Yeah. Oh, wow. I haven't had enough water, okay? I haven't had enough water because all I drink is Red Bull. Not true. Not true. I've had three of those. <coughs> three? Not the Red Bulls, the waters. Priceless. Okay, bye. All right, I'm going to send you guys out. Good work. I'll be bringing you back, Lily, with your partner, your other partner, and a few. Bye, Lily. Bye. <coughs> My phone decided to not want to unlock. Do your phone what? Not. Decided it didn't want to unlock. But it's unlocked now. I know. I had to manually type it in after it glitched four times. <laughs> not funny. All right, walk me through your situation, girls. Okay. Um, Serenity stole my brother's diary, and now we're, like, arguing about it over FaceTime. Okay. <clears throat> Serenity, why'd you do it? Because we have been friends since we were itty-bitty children, since before we started school, because our, parent, our moms were friends. And then uh, I thought her brother was cute. Yeah. Because that's what 12-year-olds do. They think their friend's siblings are Every cute. time. Every time. What is it with that? <laughs> what is it with that? I don't get I don't it. I don't get it. Anyway. All right. Um, I, I remember straight up in high school just being like, I, I wish I had a sister. <laughs> it's just like a thing. It's totally a thing. Anyway. All right. So that's the case now. So what made you do it, though? Like, what, what drove you to do it? Well, I didn't plan on doing it. Okay. I was just walking to the bathroom, and his door was open, and I saw that it was sitting on the desk. So I just kind of bamboozled it, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. That? And then was, I was ran, did, and like, then I stashed it. Is that right? I stashed it, yes. I stashed it in the bathroom, in between the towels, and then I made an excuse why I needed to bring my bag into the bathroom so I could put it in the bag. Oh, dang. Like, planned out that part. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, now, Ava, how did you find out? I feel like my brother would come in and be really angry at me, like, walk into my room and be like, you know, your friend was over here, like, later this week. And Wait, so, how does he know that, that, that she made things go missing? Because I like my only friend would be Serenity, because a lot of people at school treat me like a pushover because my character is okay. So he, there's only one person search everywhere. Sister, do you think that he would blame you first? Yes. Okay, so he comes to you. He's like, "Give me my diary back or journal," because he's a dude, right? Give me my journal back, okay? And I mean, just just so you guys know, dudes don't call their journals diaries. Okay, it's like it's weird. Definitely. Right. <laughs> so you you take the journal, okay? So brother comes over and he's like super pissed, assuming that you've done it in like malice or just like to mess with him. That doesn't yeah. end, up, end up being the case. What do you do? Oh my god. I feel like you would have a really good relationship with her brother and not want to mess it up. And she doesn't really know what's going on. She's like, of course not. I didn't do that. So then he leaves all mad probably, right? Yeah. So what do you do? How do you figure out that, that maybe it was Serenity? I think 
Serenity's character would have talked to me about some stuff about him because they're obviously like been friends like forever. Like they're only friends. So I think I'd put like two and two together and be like, I one person over this week and she has a crush on him. Like makes sense. Got it. Okay, cool. So like after you get yelled at, you sort of just like process that it was just recently. Yeah. So maybe it was like yesterday. Right? So it's really fresh still. Because otherwise I think you'd have a hard time putting two and two together. Right? So if it's been one day, that's still enough to make someone really mad. That like you then would be really upset. Okay, cool. I love that, guys. I love the history you've created here. That's great. So now... When we go to confront here, what did you find out, like, Serenity, by going through it? That he definitely doesn't like me. Okay. He doesn't like you. And then most of the, the, the entries are just, why does my sister always have that stupid friend over? Wow. Oh, dang. Dang. Okay. Um, why does he care so much about you? Because I'm annoying and I always bother him. Because I think he's cute, so... That's the twelve-year-old way of flirting is to just be annoying to that person. So you're twelve. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to change that. Oh God. Okay. You don't look twelve. Congratulations. Definitely. Congratulations. Okay. And neither I does Ava. I literally said that I was twelve today. So. So here's the deal. You have to adapt. <laughs> that may be an action thing, and you might want to work on that. Right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's like, you're 12. Uh, it's like when I used to get really mad at Joey, I'd be like, what are you, seven? You know, and he would get so mad, like so mad. Um, so what I want you to do is realize that doesn't fit. Like you couldn't pick up a script and, and get cast for that, right? So instead, let's adapt slightly. How old are you, 16? 15? Like in real life? Yeah. I'm 14. Really? I always thought you were 15. So... All right, cool. So you're 14. That's actually not too far off. If you wanted to go down a year, you could. But honestly, you look a little older than you are to me. Um, like you look in the 16 range, and Ava does too. So I'd probably put you right in that like 15, like something like that. And that's like boy crush time. Like let's be honest with each other, okay? This is like for typical girls, there's like there's always like boy, 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 like all like the whole time, okay? So now you're in this stage, okay? You'd like her brother, so what would make sense? Two things. One, her brother's just like two years older, and he's like a senior. Or her, her, her brother lives in, uh, in in the house, but he goes to college. He's like a freshman in college or whatever. So he's not at your school. He's not someone you would see or be around at all, except when you're at the house. Which one sounds more appealing to you guys? I feel like college would make more sense. It would be more like, because, like, why does, like, a high school freshman have a me like that's nasty <laughs> <laughs> that's nasty yeah, i like it okay totally totally okay so now that we know that's the case that changes things right changes mm -hmm. the whole dynamic of the scene now a lot of the stuff's going to stay the same but the way that you guys interact the feelings that you have the things that were written in that journal will be different right so he probably might talk about you a little but honestly probably the biggest thing that probably would upset you is you're not in there at all yeah. Like, maybe it's annoying again, up to you. But, like, as a 15-year-old girl, you would expect there to be something in there. And you'd be, like, reading, like, page after page after page, and you just weren't in there. <laughs> like, you're over all the time and nothing. Like, that would break your heart. So, mm -hmm. we've read through the whole thing. That's the case. Great. So, now, when the call comes through, do you know what it's about? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah? Because of uh -huh. her energy? Not only just because of the energy, it's just because um, Ava's character is just smart, so I knew that she would figure it out soon, but I didn't know that it was going to be the next day. Got it. Okay, cool. All right, so here's what I want to do. This is, how long have these guys been friends? Like, uh, pretty much since we were toddlers. Since you were toddlers, okay. So um, this is just you guys, um, and I'm going to run through the situation. You guys hanging out. The day that you take it, Serenity. So you leave to go, to go like grab snack or whatever, whatever you decided, and then you come back after having hit it in the bathroom, 
So you can speed up that timeline a little bit, and you should be slightly changed because you don't want to get caught, right? So first, just girl time. Okay, ready? And action. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't... Um, okay. <laughs> My mom was saying that she could take us to a water park in like two weeks. I thought that'd be really fun. Um, yeah. Does she right. have to take us or could we have like your brother drive us? I mean, like my brother's busy. He has work. I don't think he would want to. Okay. Okay. Well, I could maybe have like my mom take us though. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because like, um, my mom could take us, and then like your mom could pick us up, and then we could have like a sleepover at your house after. Well, if your mom's driving us, why is it at my house? Because like my mom's having a big like dinner with like a bunch of work friends. I don't know if that would work out. But I just like your house. Your house is, like, more fun, you know? I mean, I guess. I mean, there's, like, a trampoline outside, but, like, I don't know. You yeah, know, I just like, just, like, promise your mom to just stay out of her way for the night. You know? Like, we could just, like, have a little fun girl sleepover. I mean, I guess I could if we were really quiet. Yeah, we're always, like, quiet, you know? Um, no, no, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we could uh, probably be quiet for like one afternoon. Find the reason to leave, Serenity. I am gonna run to the bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay. Zoom, zoom. Leave the frame. <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> oh, got it. Your bathroom's really nice. I, I've never noticed how like nice your bathroom is. Yep. Are you okay? You seem off. I, I'm great. You know, I'm just I feel I'm a little tired and kinda out of it, but yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling great, you know? <laughs> okay, well I thought we could like watch a movie or something and go to bed. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let let let's watch a movie. Yeah. You bring the um you you told me that you took like last week and you said that you'd bring them. What did I say I would bring? <laughs> These pictures that you took you like took them with your Polaroid and stuff like we both. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I yeah, let me let me they're in my bag. Hold on, let me grab them. Okay. I mean it was closer to me. Okay. I brought all of them. <laughs> Oh, so wow. I took, I have to find the right one. Hold on. So I found like old pictures of me and my mom from when I was like 11. And wow. I took that picture and I took a picture of it with my Polaroid. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't know why, but I saw that picture and I was like, oh, I look like a baby. Let me just take that picture. You, you know? Yeah. Um... Scene. Oh my god, that's adorable. What a cute picture. <laughs> that was so on my, really? like, uh, it was my 11th, like my 10th or 11th birthday or something. Did you guys plan that? No. no. That's so <laughs> cute. I just had them on my shelf and I was You like, just happen oh. to have those there? That's amazing. Okay, <laughs> cool. So we could feel the awkwardness that was there, right? Yeah. So now we need to further develop that and, and, Probably you find a reason to not go and have the sleepover after. You're like, oh, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Like, it's probably a bad idea. So, like, let's just do it so that you can have time with the journal. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, without her knowing. Otherwise, you have her over, and as soon as she falls asleep, you go to read it. Right? And then when she gets home, she finds out. Like, whatever. So, this was great, guys. You're, you've done so much work. So, realize how much these improvs will help. And I want you guys to look through all the situations that you don't know yet and play them out. See how they look, and that will add history to the scene. And when you're upset or when you're hurt, it's going to be that much stronger. Okay? Yeah.
Very good work. Thank you. Good luck again. Thank you. <clears throat> still here. Mm -hmm. I know. Where did uh, Kate go? <laughs> and where are you? Abby, Andrew, Emma. Yo, where's Kate at? I like the dancing, Lily. It's good stuff. Well, yet. Man, I shouldn't have said anything. It was so dope. Kate, come back. I'm going to do a Star Wars impression. Come back. <laughs> Kate. Kate, I'm talking to you on the live right now. Hello, Kate. Come back. We miss you. And Lily's waiting for you. So, come back. Kate. We miss you, Kate. Where are you, Kate? Oh, wait, Kate. Kate. Kate, Kate. You like my song? What do you think? Lily, like... Don't you love my song? It's great. You don't think it's great? It, it's awesome. Hurtful, hurtful. I'll look one more time. Okay, if she comes back, then we'll put up the scene again. All right, I'm gonna bring everybody back while we wait. Hello. I'm confused. I don't know. I'm confused. Are you confused? Go ahead and pause your lives or mute them, the YouTube video. I'm gonna bring everybody back while we wait. Wait. Pause those lives. It's dumb you can't unmute all. Wow. Okay, I allowed you guys to, so unmute yourselves once your live is paused, please. Unmute your audio. I've given you the power to do so. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> It's called trust, you know, and I feel like we built up a great one. I have to sit on the floor because my phone's dying. Fine, do it. <clears throat> Looks like Andrew's still muted and Elijah is still muted. All right, guys, let's start off with this. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hey. Andrew, where's the applause? We're all waiting. Goes like that, Andrew. That's what it looks like. Andrew, can you hear me? Andrew. Andrew. I just wanted Hello. you to applause, Andrew. Andrew, can you hear me? He's on mute, so... Is he? He's can't I've asked him to unmute. There we go. All right. Cool. So, I want to go through with everybody real quick. Throw away some takeaways. All right? Um, I want to hear from a couple people. Here's the big homework assignment. Uh, it's just to continue to work on this if we're moving our scene forward. If we're not, we're out next month. I'm going to find that. Andrew, you're back. Hey! Andrew's like, this is dumb! <laughs> um... If you're not, then we'll talk through what we're going to do and how we're going to progress, okay? Um, so I'll go scene by scene really quick. Thanks, Joe. 
and figure out exactly where we're at, okay? So, first scene. Um, I'm going to cut our live here. Um, Serenity, are you...